So let's get started. I'm not wearing any makeup, just showing you what it looks like. Horrifies my mother when she goes on Instagram and sees that I'm not wearing any makeup. So soon I'll transform. I want to show you the before and the after. This is by Stila and this is the all day foundation and concealer. Literally, it's an all day wear. I've tried this several times. It doesn't move from your skin. It's quite extraordinary. Silky, it's a little bit thicker than some other foundations that I've tried, like nude sticks. Um, and often you will need a powder to go on top of this. So I just wanna show you how neat this is. You see the top? You just make sure your hands are clean, make sure you're well moisturized, put your finger just in the middle like that, and you can start applying it almost like it's a lotion or a moisturizer. And you wanna get right under your eyes. We are going to do a concealer, don't you worry, under the eyes, you can see how tired I look today, but I won't in a few minutes. Okay, so putting it all over, it's quite an application. I know last time I showed you what it was like to apply foundation with a brush, and you certainly can use a brush, um, but I just want to show you what it's like with a finger, because as you know, I like to do things quickly, and I, I just, I don't like makeup to be like this whole big thing. It's a part of my life, as you know, and many women wear makeup, but you want to sort of get it done. You don't want to be in your washroom for a half an hour doing your makeup in the morning or in the evening when you're going out. So this is the Stila All Day. And I just want to show you my brush. It's right here. So you can, you can put a little bit on a brush like that. And you can brush it on. Whoa, that's a lot. Okay. I'm going to have to really get in there. Sorry, I didn't realize how much I just applied, but that's way, way, way too much. So there's a tip. Don't put too much on your brush if you're using this foundation. Okay, there we go. It's all in there and blended and smooth. You can see it's quite smooth. Now, it doesn't give you that silky feeling like other foundations do, but it is coverage like no other. This is an incredible foundation for coverage. Uh, if you are not going to be able to reapply all day, if you're doing some kind of um, Instagram work or photography or TV, or maybe going out somewhere in the evening and you want it to stay. Okay. Tarte tape. Fabulous. Tarte tape. This is a concealer for under your eyes. This is quite amazing. It's thick and it's a little bit darker than my skin. I'll show it to you. Um, but it really is a good, it's really a good concealer. A lot of my friends wear this and I try to go right into the eye if you can see. Okay. Again, you can use your fingers. I'm doing this look with fingers today as opposed to um, a beauty blender because I already did that with you guys and I wanted to show you something different. And I'm trying to do it in the exact same speed as I would if I was doing this in the morning and I'm on my way out the door. You see? It's all going to be blended together very soon. So you pat that under your eye and you really get under your eye. See that? coming together. I don't look as tired. Hopefully. What do you think? Not as tired? Okay. Now, I am still on the hunt to find the best pressed powder or translucent powder. I've yet to find one. I know Chanel makes a beautiful one. Charlotte Tilbury makes a beautiful one. They are so expensive and I, I, I don't have a need to use them all the time. So I go to my go-to, which is my Studio Fix. This is what I've been using for 25 years. I know I told you guys about this last time, but I try to be as real as possible and this is what I use. So I will take this and you can take any kind of um, sponge or um, you could take, there's a sponge actually under here. You can use this sponge. I don't use that one actually. I just take some kind of sponge here and I just press it like that. So it gives you more of a matte look as opposed to a dewy look. 
and everything is blended in. And make sure you really get under your eye and in the crease right here under your nose. I hope I didn't just inhale that. Okay, and then you also wanna get down into your neck. Good? Okay. What's next? So exciting, I don't know what to do, what's next? Okay, so then I usually do my eyelids. Um, for a nude look, you wanna keep it simple, obviously, but you wanna have a little bit of a highlight. And I have used a palette by MAC, which I think is absolutely beautiful. Just wanna show you the colors. You can see they're, they're very nude-like of a pinky tone there's a little bit of a sparkle in a couple of them so i will do something like this on my lid or this i'll tell you the names in a moment and then i'll do a little bit of this in the crease maybe if i want to do a little bit of liner i'll use this so i'm going to show you what the names are and i have to grab my glasses to find the names and the name is magnificent me and the one at the bottom is Cool Compliment. So Magnificent Me is right here. And this is Cool Compliment. And then if you want to use something without a little bit of a sparkle, this one is called Quiet Type. I hope that's helpful. See, skin's nice and dry, isn't that nice? So I'm gonna put this on. And again, this should not be a whole thing. It should be quick, fast, so a little bit. Magnificent me on the lid, just like that. And again, you wanna get right into the corner of your eye. I don't know about you, but I have very dark circles under my eyes and when I'm tired, which today happens to be one of those days, I have quite a bit of darkness around my eye, but I find that when I put some powder in the corner, that seems to help lighten it quite a bit in the overall look. So this is Magnificent Me, and then I'm gonna just flip my brush, and I'm gonna do a little quiet type, just at the top like that, just like that. And then I'm going to take the other end of my eye brush, my eyeshadow brush, and I'm going to apply, what did I say this one was called? Cool Compliment. Right in the crease, like this, like this, now that looks crazy, right? Of course. What you need is a blending brush. You can buy this anywhere, any pharmacy, any drugstore, well not a pharmacy, sorry, a drugstore, any makeup store. You see how it's on an angle? And you're going to blend, 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 blend. See that? And when you think you haven't blended enough, go back and blend more. So then I will take this and I'll tap it and I'll brush it off and I'll keep blending until I get the look I want. If I want less, I just keep blending, keep blending, keep blending. There we go. Okay. Now we are going to do an eyeliner. Oh, I'm gonna do an eyeliner. I showed you this before. This is also by Stila. I love Stila, by the way. So um, this is their chocolate brown liquid liner. You don't have to wear chocolate brown. You wear any color. When you're wearing a nude lip, you could use a different color eyeliner if you choose. You could also do eyeliner on the inside of your eye. Black, brown, green, blue, beautiful. I'm just gonna show you a little trick here. I'm just gonna put a little bit of the brown at the top. See that? A little bit of brown at the top. There we go, and I'm gonna do this side. And again, you don't want to use that, the point. You want to use it on an angle, on the side. I have never been able to perfect putting eyeliner on my lid, but I'm trying. For you, I'm trying. Okay, this is chocolate brown. I like chocolate brown, and I also like black because I feel like it brings out the green in my eye. Eyes, see, green. Some people think I have blue eyes, I don't. They're green eyes. And here's another trick. You can use some eyeliner if you want for under your eye. You can put eyeliner inside your eye. I use, this is uh, also another angle. This is an eyeliner brush. I go with the same palette and you can choose any of the darker colors. 
for that. You can even do a lighter gray, but I don't, I don't like gray on my eyes at all, but I like chocolate brown. I, you can wet it. That will make it more intense. I do not wet. So I'm going for the lighter chocolate brown, which is the cool compliment, which is already on my lid. So it's a little matchy matchy, but it does the trick. And you can go all the way in like that if you'd like, or you could do halfway. Last time I posted about eyelash, about, about my eyelashes, about mascara called They're Real by Benefit. I want to show you another incredible mascara by Benefit called Roller Lash. See that? Unbelievable. Now, I don't know if you can see, but these are my eyelashes. I swear, these are mine. See? I get asked all the time, are those your eyelashes? And they are. And we're going to just put that on quickly. Again, mascara should not be a huge chore. Right? And the difference between this mascara and the other mascara is the other one is for fullness and this one is for length. So I thought I would just show you the difference. I'm not in love with long bottom lashes. Sometimes I leave it because it looks a little spider-like, but I think this is nice for a nude lip just to give a little bit more mascara, but it's nice. And then here's the trick. And I say this to people all the time. If you're going to do a nude lip, you don't want to look withdrawn. You don't want to look um, like you're sick and you're pale. So it is a lot about the blush and your lips. Your blush has to get your apples. These are your apples, your cheekbones. It's a big deal. So uh, I discovered this beautiful pink, also by MAC, called Into the Pink. You can see that, Into the Pink. I discovered it in January. And I have been wearing this almost every day. I'll show you what this looks like, just a little, on the apples. See, on the apples. If you feel like it's too much, you can take, again, a sponge and just pat it a little bit. Now, you also can put a bronzer in various parts of your face if you're feeling a little pale. I think this looks okay. My go-to right now um, lipstick, I've had two lipsticks that I've go I have had go-tos for many years. Again, I'm at MAC. And then the other one is by Stila. This is a matte, it's called Sheer Patina, and you can also get Satin Patina. And this is a nude pink. Isn't that pretty? I think it's very pretty. And you have a couple options, we have a couple options here to show you. So, when I started doing this several years ago, there were a couple makeup artists that thought I was bananas. And they would say, take that off your lips. That does not look good. However, I still use it and I love it. And I use variations of this. This is a dark lip liner, also by MAC, uh, called Stone. And I'm going to show you what it looks like. What this does is it gives some contrast to the lips a little bit. I don't know if you like. There you go. Now, these over here are some of my favorite nude, pink nudes and general nude lipsticks that I've been using and I have been wearing off and on for several years. Hold on, I just wanna show you, if you can see this look. How's that look? There you go, voila, see the pink, 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 pink. Okay, let me just show you these nudes real quick so you have an idea. And I'm gonna tell you what they are one by one. This is Hey Babe, new cosmetic company, five months old, beautiful pink color. This is called Buttercup. I'll show you Buttercup. Beautiful pink. Hey Babe, Buttercup. Beautiful. NARS, another great nude 
has a little bit of a frost to it. So if you feel like a frost, see that? In the name, Sexual Healing. Just love the name. This is by Sephora. This is their actual line, Sephora line. Uh, they have make matte nude lipsticks. It a, looks a little dark, but it's not as dark. And this is number seven. Number seven. So for number seven, another um, MAC matte is faux. You can see that? Faux. And then NYX makes a beautiful, this is their lingerie matte line. This is beautiful. And this is 09. Hope you enjoyed.